Duncan. Hi, Rob. Hi. So uh, I so respect you that you um you drove uh, what three hours from Birmingham to uh, to Barmouth. Yeah, it was about hundred miles. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. I just thought. It's about time I did it. gave it a try, and uh, luckily, uh, I think all the prayers worked. The police didn't—I didn't see any police cars at all on the whole journey, which uh, well, I was, <laughs> was amazing. Because well, there's so many of them about at the moment. I was so, praying for you. I even got our kids praying for you. I said, "Look, there's this guy called Rob in the UK who's driving." And he's dodging the cops. I said, Let, let's pray for this guy dodging. They're like, oh, can we go with him? I said, no, no, he's in England. <laughs> they all like the idea of... <laughs> it's somewhere I really like coming in when the weather's good. And, uh, yeah, it was a perfect day. So, uh, as you can see, I'm about 50 metres out. The water's fairly shallow, but I'm waist deep. So, uh, that'll 50... be enough to uh, sink down. <laughs> I reckon. So, how, how, yep. are, how are you holding the phone? Uh, just just both hands. I'm just holding it, and uh, it's a, meant to be a waterproof phone. So uh, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> it's meant to be waterproof down to a meter. So uh, okay. Yeah. So you're going to take you the. Might be able to so you're going to take the phone under with you. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold the phone up high, so you'll see me go under, and then the phone will be the last thing to go under, and you might you might see me underwater. I don't know. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Rob. Well. Um, do you believe the things about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ? Absolutely, I do, yeah. So, you're going to be baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's just pray, first of all. Heavenly, okay. Heavenly Father, really pray that you'll bless Rob as he gives his life in spirit and in truth to the Lord Jesus. Please be with him. Bless him in every way. Bless him for this great sacrifice he's made at this point in his life to drive all that way, to take those risks, to get baptised. We really pray that you'll bless him and bring him into your kingdom. For Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. So, so Rob, you're going to be baptised into the Lord Jesus Christ. Great. So, in his death, in his resurrection. So, put yourself under. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. Still there? Yep, just about. Uh, yeah, you, you're pretty okay. uh, pretty hazy on the uh, yep. on your waterproof camera. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Maybe yeah, so, uh, <laughs> this will be the first sacrifice of many. When, when, yeah, absolutely. when I was baptized, I said to my mother, I said, oh, well, that was easier than I thought. And she said, yeah, the rest is not so easy. So uh, the, the rest is not so easy. But, um, you know, it was like Egypt, Israel being in Egypt, and they came out of the Red Sea. Uh, that was like baptism for them baptized into Moses and then in front of them was the wilderness journey but the wilderness journey to God's kingdom so you're going to keep on going and uh, there's no other way as you know we've had lots of uh, discussions about it wow yeah, it's just something I've wanted to do for so long now and uh, you know just looking online trying to find the right person to do it and everywhere I, I looked it's all Trinitarian which I didn't want to do yeah, uh, no. I wanted to get baptised in something other reason. So then I came across you about a year ago. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean oh, the Trinitarians. Okay, uh, it's another. It's another God. It's another Jesus. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all right. My screen's just gone a little bit funny, so uh, no. I, I couldn't see all of you. No, the image but, is quite uh, clear. Yeah, so so I found you, and uh, and that was it. I thought that's that's what I've got to do. So I'm just so pleased that I've managed to do it properly now. Um, and yeah, just keep going forward. Yeah, well, God will give you a special mission, you know. God gives gives each of us good works to perform that we were given from the foundation of the world. Um, and he'll he'll have something in mind for you. Um, I guess for me it was feeding people here in Latvia, but um. That's not what I imagined when I was baptised yeah. as a teenager, but um, yeah. you're in good, good yeah, hands. This is, you know, this is the final step, 
on the other side, you know, so I'm just really happy that I've done this now and uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens from there. Well, God will lead you. Something will happen. Lots of things will happen, but you know, bit by bit, slowly, slowly. Um, yeah. So keep. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a bit, a bit of trouble hearing you over the uh, the surf. I'm just just coming out of the water now. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I see. Yeah. Quite sunny here, so hopefully I'll dry up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just want to thank you for everything you've done, Duncan. You know, it's. Uh, I was starting to feel that it was never going to happen, so uh, I feel great that it's, it's finally here. Yeah, I kept thinking, oh, should I send Rob another, you know, another message on WhatsApp? And I thought, well, I don't want a guy to think I'm sort of hassling him, but I, I definitely was praying for you. Because, <laughs> you know, there's not many people who've figured out what you have about the Trinity and Devil and all that stuff, you know, the Kingdom on the Earth and all that. Very yeah. few people. Um, so well, I, think it's, I think the way you find it is by looking into it yourself. I think through the churches, it, it's going to be almost impossible because the, the things they teach are so different to what you get when you actually read the Bible for yourself and you haven't got any preconceived ideas. And uh, it just becomes glaringly obvious what the truth is. Absolutely. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, that's what shocked me on this journey, you know, that started about four years ago. I started reading it for myself and I just realised everything was wrong that was taught in the mainstream. So... Uh, you know, I did feel lonely for a long time because I couldn't. I thought I needed to go to a church, but I couldn't find any church that fitted in with my beliefs. And then I started. The more I read, I realised I didn't need that. You yeah. don't need a church. It's not about that. It's a personal relationship. So, Absolutely. and the church is just body of believers. So, so yeah, that that made me feel a lot better. Yeah, especially not just a trinity, but about the devil. About you know that the real enemy is our own nature, is our own you know right. temptations and all that. Uh -huh. and, not a dragon up right. in the sky and all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the kingdom coming on earth and the promises to Abraham. Yeah, no, this is the hope of the gospel, all right? right. Yeah, spirit and truth. That's great. Looking forward to uh, just carrying on learning and uh, finding out as much as I can over the years to come. Yeah, and it's not just knowledge, you know. I mean, the knowledge is a oh, basis, no. and uh, you know, the Lord will yeah. lead you further. Um, no, no yeah. doubt about that. Deeper in the time, you know. This, uh, those things were written down for a reason, so it's just, you know, just trying to just gain a deeper understanding of what was written down, but, you know, obviously there's a lot more to it than that, so I appreciate that. Yeah, and, you know, God's hand in our lives changing our characters to give us the spirit of Christ. I mean, that yeah. that's, well, that's what's so wonderful, that, that we form that personal relationship with him and he comes into our lives. Um, because right. he had our nature, then he can relate to us. And he will be with us to the end. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got a long drive back, three hours. I, I hope you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have fish and chips. I suppose fish and chips aren't working, right? It's a lockdown. Yeah, most places are shut here. It's a, it's a nice I don't know whether you can see it's a nice little town here. Yeah. On yeah. the uh, on the side of the mountain there. But uh yeah, I think most places are closed, but I think there's a supermarket open, so probably get something to eat there and uh, have a little rest, and then uh, <laughs> another three hours back home. And then dodge the cops all the way back to Birmingham, eh? <laughs> That's it. At least I'll be able to tell them I'm going home, so... Uh... <laughs> they can't send me anywhere else but home, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tell them. I'll tell them what you did. Yeah, 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 maybe they'll uh, yeah, convert one of them. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, there was this really bizarre thing about British police interviewing people who were breaking lockdown, and they were like interviewing them and saying, what, look, why are you travelling? You're not supposed to be. Have you got an essential reason? And there's this one bloke, and he said, yeah, I'm a drug addict. I'm going to buy drugs. And they sort of said, uh, <laughs> fair enough, but just go back, can you? And I, I, thought, I thought about you, and I thought, you know, what, what's an essential reason but, but driving to be baptised? I mean, you're not, you're keeping two metres distance from everybody. Um, not that's it, yeah, the Bible, everyone here. Yeah. But uh, I seem to remember when this whole thing started, that was one of the first things they mentioned at the very start, that uh, things like going to baptisms were, were cancelled. That was one of the reasons in the UK they mentioned, which I thought was very odd to, uh, to bring up baptisms, to say that that was, you know, they said weddings, baptisms, all cancelled. 
Yeah, I think, so, yeah, what they meant was, you know, going to the church and baptising your kid and having a hundred people yeah, watching you. But, I mean, you're, you've yeah. you've done this on your own. I mean, the, idea, the spirit of it is to uh, avoid crowding and avoid social distancing. And uh, a bloke getting in his car and driving to the beach and putting himself under the water in the name of Jesus and driving back, I mean, that's not, that's not harming anybody. But, um, no, no, I think the, the nearest person's about 500 metres away, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've man. got the place to myself, you have, uh, you? which is lovely. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah beautiful. So, yeah, lovely anyway. day for it. Yeah, well, God gave you a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, that's uh, something I'll be remembering for forever. Yeah. It's uh, been a really yeah. special day. It was a, a last-minute decision when I woke up this morning. I was going to go on Friday, but then I realised it was a bank holiday over here. And, uh, oh, yeah, mayday. There might have been one of the on the street, you know looking to stop people going to the beach so uh, I just thought that's it if I don't do it now that's right. who knows when it's going to happen so, uh, oh, so yeah that's you, great you made a right choice that's for sure and you know when we come to the kingdom of God and we're living forever and ever together in his kingdom we'll look back and you'll remember Barmouth and uh, I'll remember sitting in the car park here in my car <laughs> Yeah, we'll remember this because we'll have the power of, you know, boundless recall, boundless recollection. We'll be able to remember everything. And, uh, yeah, the best is ahead. You know, in the world, everyone thinks, ah, the good days are better. And now it's not very good and my future's bad. But for us, the past was rubbish and the today is much better. And the, the future is much better because it's the kingdom in front of us. Um, we're all gonna, yeah. we're gonna right. die one day or yeah, another. Looking forward to it. Yeah, can't wait for it. And it's gonna be soon. I mean, the way things are going, I mean, this whole world can't stumble yeah. on. Can't stumble on much longer. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? You know, all the, the way technology's going, the way they're trying to get AI involved in everything, it's just, it's not the world I remember from when I was young. So, you know, and the way it's going, it's not a, a route I'm looking forward to for the future. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah right. I think things have, got to come to an end soon the way it's going i just can't see things lasting for for a long time the way things are no no i can't you just be going down real fast it's certainly not going to go on the way it was when we were kids so that's for sure no no yeah well god willing i will be i'll be in the uk at some point i guess go and see my dad and oh, all that and yeah, uh, we'll, we'll have to catch up uh definitely yeah have to catch up yeah um, Fantastic. Well, say hi to Barmouth for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will do. Yeah, I'll just try and get a, get something to eat now if I can. Yeah. But uh, try and dry out a bit more first. I've got to change your clothes in the car, so uh, so yeah, should okay. be okay. Okay, Rob, my brother. Great. God yeah, bless you. For all you had, Duncan. Yeah, let's have, uh, let's have, let's have a chat when you you know when you're back, and I'll be praying for you on your journey back. I was praying for you on the way over. And I'll be praying for you driving uh, back, and so... Uh, <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely speak to you a bit later. Yeah. God bless, mate. Okay, you too, Duncan. God, God bless. bless. Yeah. Bye, then.